Then the princess took him to the summer room where there were beautiful cicadas and lovely hot warm sun. After that she took him to the autumn room where they could do some beautiful moon viewing and eat moon cakes. At the castle. And finally she took him to the winter room where they could see lots of snow. He was so happy. Eventually he remembered a bit more about his beautiful mother at home fixing his fishnets and his beautiful old Japanese house. And he told the princess it was time for him to go back. She gave him a very precious box. I wonder what was inside it. The beautiful turtle came to take him back home. When he got home though, everything seemed incredibly old. The coastline seemed eroded. His house seemed overgrown, broken down, and he called out to his family, Mum, Dad, brothers and sisters, where are you? A very old lady came and told him that she hadn't seen anybody for such a long time. He opened the box and what happened to him? That's the end of the story called Udashima Taro. Thank you for listening. I wonder whether you'd like to go and paint a picture or draw a picture of the adventures of Udashima Taro under the sea. Maybe after you've painted the pictures, you'd like to tell somebody in your family the story. Because when you tell somebody else, remember you get very good at learning the story better. Sayonara, I'll see you in the next lesson.